Whether your SQL statement is a select, update, insert, or delete, Oracle is going to have to locate the data block or blocks that it needs to operate on. To do this, Oracle is going to look in an area of memory known as the buffer cache. The buffer cache is a very large cache of data blocks that Oracle maintains in memory for quick access. And this includes data blocks for both indexes and tables. Just like you might have a cache in an application that you write that keeps the most recently and most often used data in memory, that is what the buffer cache is for Oracle. Being able to cache data blocks is extremely important to the performance of any database, and Oracle is no exception. Even though there have been tremendous gains in the performance of disk systems over the years, it is still generally many orders of magnitude faster to read a block from memory than from disk. As such, the buffer cache will be far and away the largest component of the SGA. So when you run a SQL statement, Oracle will check the buffer cache for the blocks that it needs and read any of the blocks it can from the buffer cache. If there are data blocks that are needed that are not in the buffer cache, then Oracle will go to disk and execute physical I.O. operations to read those blocks into the buffer cache where they can be utilized by your SQL statement. Oftentimes, a statement will get some of the blocks it needs out of the buffer cache, but also require some physical I.O. operations to occur as well. While there's always going to be some physical I.O. required, from a performance perspective, we always want to write SQL statements that have to do as little physical I.O. as possible because physical I.O. is so much slower than reading from the buffer cache. You may have experienced this yourself at times. If you have ever executed the same SQL statement twice in a row, you've probably observed that the first time you ran your statement, it may have taken a second or two to execute. But on the second execution, you got your results back almost immediately. There are a couple of items at work here, but the biggest factor is the buffer cache. The first time you executed your SQL statement, Oracle probably had to perform some physical I.O. to get the data that you needed. But when you executed the statements the second time, the data was already in the buffer cache, so Oracle could return your results much faster. The size of the buffer cache is finite. After all, there is a finite amount of physical RAM on your database server, and swapping the buffer cache out to disk would defeat the entire purpose of having an in-memory cache. So Oracle manages the blocks in the buffer cache using a least recently used algorithm meaning the oldest and least frequently used data blocks will get cached out when Oracle needs to read new blocks into the buffer cache. Oracle manages all of this for you. Just know that data blocks are always being moved into and out of the buffer cache as need be.